Hello all. Welcome to our new session on ISO 27037, a standard used for digital forensics purpose, which highlights the guidelines for identification, collection, acquisition, and preservation of digital evidence. The 27037 standard provides guidance on identifying, gathering, collecting, acquiring, handling and protecting, preserving digital forensic evidence, that is, digital data that may be of evidential value for use in court. The standard provides guidelines for specific activities in the handling of digital evidence, which are identification, collection, acquisition, and preservation of potential digital evidence, that can be of evidential value. It provides guidance to individuals with respect to common situations, encountered throughout the digital evidence handling process, and assists organizations in their disciplinary procedures, and in facilitating the exchange of potential digital evidence between jurisdictions. The standard gives guidance for the following devices and circumstances. Digital storage media used in standard computers like hard drives, floppy disks, optical and magneto-optical disks, data devices with similar functions. Mobile phones, personal digital assistants, personal electronic devices, memory cards, mobile navigation systems, digital still and video cameras, including CCTV, standard computer with network connections, networks based on TCP IP and other digital protocols, and devices with similar functions as above. The standard provides detailed guidance on the identification, collection and acquisition, marking, storage, transport and preservation of electronic evidence, particularly to maintain its integrity. It defines and describes the processes through which evidence is recognized and identified, documentation of the crime scene, collection and preservation of the evidence, and the packaging and transportation of evidence. The scope covers traditional IT systems and media rather than vehicle systems, cloud computing etc. The guidance is aimed primarily at first responders. We need to note that, every country has its own unique legislative system. A crime committed in one jurisdiction may not even be regarded as a crime in another. The challenge is to harmonize processes across borders such that cybercriminals can be prosecuted accordingly. Therefore, a means to allow and facilitate the exchange and use of reliable evidence is required. Digital evidence, meaning information from digital devices to be presented in court, is interpreted differently in different jurisdictions. For the widest applicability, the standard will avoid using jurisdiction-specific terminology. It will not cover analysis of digital evidence, nor its admissibility, weight, relevance etc. It also will not mandate the use of particular tools or methods. I hope the video was useful. Please subscribe for all upcoming videos. Thank you.